Okay. We live once again. The CTR Show, Controversy Talk Radio. Um, we back in the building. It's your boy Fly Guy Si. It's your boy Looney Tune. And uh, today we're just talking about hot topics that's been taking place this week. And uh, there's a topic that actually we discussed last Friday on the show. We didn't go live last Friday, so... Um, if you want an opportunity to hear what we talked about last Friday, definitely uh, download Anchor um, in your Apple Store, your Play Store, and uh, search the CTR show and catch up with the episode. And uh, last week we had discussed um, Amber Geiger, I believe that's how you pronounce the last name. No, it's uh, Guy. Amber Guy. Geiger. Guy, it's something. Well, everybody knows what we're talking about. We're talking about the Dallas um, police officer who went in. Uh, the young black man, um, Botham's uh, apartment that she claimed she went in by mistake. The man was sitting on a chair in his in his house eating ice cream in his underwear and got shot and killed uh, by this police officer. Her trial took place uh, this week that just um that just passed and um she was convicted of first of I'm not sure if it was first degree but she was convicted of murder. <laughs> yeah, I, believe, I believe it was first degree, and, and you're right. It was Geiger. The last name. Geiger. Geiger. Yeah. And, um, you know, just just when you think we got a victory somewhere, you know, here comes here comes the games. And uh, the big uproar right now is not as much as she was found guilty, but um, she was sentenced to 10 years for, for murder. Now... <laughs> Just think, just, 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 if you guys know how the justice system go, whenever you take something to trial and you lose in trial, you definitely, you know, do not get the minimum sentencing guideline. You, you had the mercy of the court. You know, and the jury actually picked her sentencing. And they gave this lady 10 years. Not only did that make a mockery of black people in the justice system, as the justice system always does, they went a step further. And now, when I when I make this comment here, understand the family. However, they need to grieve with their loss. I'm 100 percent for. I'm not so much upset that the family, the brother of the um, deceased, the victim, went up and hugged hugged her because this is what happened. But more or less how the judge took it upon herself to go the extra mile and give a convicted killer a hug. Um, that's something I've never seen before. What made it what made it so bad is that at the same time this was a black judge. Yeah. And you know, the it's just it was baffling to say the least. I and, mean and and the judge uh uh cried on the bench. The judge cried? Yeah. I don't know if everybody saw the the judge cry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if everybody uh, saw it, the it, the it, bailiff was playing in her hell after she got sentenced. Like was like soothing her, like in her hell. Like I'm like, what the hell is this? It's it's a lot of wrongs in in in, in the whole case. Like I said, the, the judge was crying, and I believe she was crying based off of the fact that um um the brother gave her a hug, and I guess basically. Basically, was saying that he was he forgiven, and which is cool. You know, I don't so much shit. have look, look, look. Man, if I get killed, y'all tear some shit up. Look, I feel you. I feel you, and I and I want you to do the same for me. I'm not saying that's what I would have done. What I'm saying is, however that family had to grieve and whatever they felt they had to do to handle their grievance. Hey, I'm not ag- I'm not so much against that as I am this 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 judge. You know this judge taking it upon herself to 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 hug this lady who is a convicted killer of an innocent man who was minding his business, and for some type of way to make that seem like there was nothing wrong with that is just is just totally ludicrous. And, so and they and they stated that they, they felt that the, the twenty eight years I believe that's what it was twenty eight years was uh, too harsh. Now. I'm sure everybody who's listening to this podcast and who ain't listening to this podcast knows somebody doing more than 10 years for a nonviolent crime. A matter of fact, the majority of people locked up doing long prison sentences are doing it for nonviolent crimes. 
So it's just baffling and it just lets you know even more that white privilege is very prevalent. There are two justice systems that exist, one for white people, one for black people, or one for poor people and one for rich people. However you want to view it, there are two justice systems that exist. If people out there listening want to join in the conversation, though, you definitely can call in. Uh, the call in line is 407-906-4440. We definitely want to hear your opinion on this. Um, it's just, it's, I, I just, I just can't understand how... Nobody, I mean, the people see something wrong with it, but I just can't see how the system is just so set up that if you're somebody of color, no matter what the situation is, you're going to get the, if you're the victim, you still going to get the bad, the bad rap and the bad deal. I mean, when dude got killed, I don't know if everybody remember this. One of the very first things that happened was they went and got a search warrant for his place. Mm -hmm. I think I was telling you that last week. They yeah. went and got a search warrant for his place, you know. Um, a tox I think I hope hopefully I'm saying this correctly, the a toxicology <laughs> report, you know, when they toxicology. Yeah, when they test your blood to see if you got drugs or whatever was done on him. No report ever came out on her. You know, it, it is just like it seemed like the roles were reversed. It seemed like some kind of way this man who was minding his business in his apartment, not messing with anybody, not doing anything to anybody, became the actual perpetrator. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's 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 the case at, at all in all cases. Like they they always do their research. Well, you know, they bring out the the, the, the negatives in the victim. You Just like with saying? Trayvon Martin, when when that happened with him, they did the exact same thing. Creepy ass crackers. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like wow, like this 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 was. I mean, it, it, I was I, I was already shocked that she received, she got found guilty. But I knew I knew there had there was something else going on. Well, you know, um, you know, it, it was stated that when they brung her downstairs and they put her in the police car, they turned off. Uh, the uh, voice recording and the camera in the car, which they they always have to keep that on yeah. in case the 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 um the suspect says something. Yeah, they got to record it or says something to help or build their case. Yeah, they got to leave it on. Yeah, but in her case, they cut it off because she's an officer. And you know what else? You know what else happened that 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 needs to be mentioned before the sentencing was actually given. They went back and her. They released some of her text messages, some of her phone records. She actually had made racist comments uh, on Martin Luther King Day. Um, she she made comments about being violent towards you know civilians. Being like, if I shoot you, I'm always in black just in case I got to shoot you and go to the funeral. She said some some slick like that. All this came out before she got sentenced. I, I never heard that, but to my understanding. Um, after the shooting, she was texting her boyfriend and 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 someone else. I believe somebody affiliated with um, you know, um, the, the police department that she worked. In. But when uh, they went back to go look at the text message, she had erased. It. She deleted it, which they can all go always go back and pull. She was she was uh yeah she was sexting a dude that is a police officer that she worked with. So all so the whole storyline about, oh, I was so tired, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, but at the same time, you were getting yourself prepared to go out and trick. You know what I'm saying? That's that's actually what she was doing. She was getting herself together to go out and trick. And so with all of this coming out, look, this is what kills me. It came out in the court that the man was smoking weed. And, you know, he was high when he, you know what I'm saying, at the time he got killed. So that means the house smelled like weed. So I'm just still trying to figure out how you open the door and walk all the way into a house. The smell is different. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be honest. A black household don't smell like a white, a white household. They're two different scents. It's not trying to be funny. It's not racial. It's just realistic. You know, even with... Every individual, a black person, one black person's house doesn't smell like the next black person's house. Not only that, I mean, she lived uh, underneath, floor underneath. underneath. So how you how you skip your your floor and go to the next floor? Indicators. They said all the way when you're coming from the parking garage, there's indicators that state what floor you're on all the way through. 
w- once you from from when you get out the car to the walking to the elevator, getting on the elevator, it's showing you. So my whole thing is okay. You got on the elevator, right? Mm-hmm. Oh no, she. My bad. She didn't get on the elevator. She just parked on the fourth floor and walked straight through. But the whole thing still though, there was all kind of indicators in place. So. With all that being said, and everybody like they actually have a, 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 a video right now where two of the jurors were speaking and discussing why they sent instead of 10 years. They felt like she was uh, remorseful. She didn't deserve this. Da, 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 da. I'm still trying to figure out why. Hold on. The victim didn't get <laughs> deserve to get killed sitting on his couch eating ice cream. How do we forget about that? In any other situation, look, there's a whole lot of people in prison who are remorseful. That never stops somebody from getting a life sentence. But you know what I, I, I foresee coming? A settlement. That's always going to come. That's settlement. always going to come. After they get that settlement, everything going to be... I mean, it's already pretty much wiped up under the rug with the family. You know what you know what I foresee? I foresee that this woman is is not gonna serve ten years. No. She's gonna um place an appeal. I foresee when she places this appeal, she's gonna get a bond. She's gonna bond out while the appeal process is taking place. And I think she's gonna end up getting at the end of the day, either the case thrown out or she get a lesser charge. You know, so I feel like because of the type of circus that was set up behind this, it's already going to play out where there's no real justice has been served. And I, and that's the that's the issue that I think the people have. Again, justice has not been served. They feeling like, OK, well, she was convicted guilty. And what? She's serving 10 years for murder. We got people locked up 30, 20 years for selling drugs who ain't never shot or killed anybody. So, you know, I feel like this is this shit is going to play out where it plays out in the enemy's favor once again. And uh, it's, it's, it's a revolving door. I mean, you always look for that one. Uh, well, maybe this would be the one that. that and, and we always looking for that. Yeah. This would be the one. This would be the one right here. Yeah. This would be the one. We right got him. Yeah. It went, it went our way. Yeah. It kind of like uh, your boy Trump. Every time he do something, you think, oh, we got him this time. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what is similar to, and this is what I think a lot of people understand. Let's, we're going to take it back to, to OJ. You know what I'm saying? We might, we can even sort of say this I, with I R. Mean, Kelly. I feel good with OJ got away. I, okay, but the reason why, it's not that, it's not, <laughs> it's not <laughs> that we were happy he got away with killing somebody. It was just some, It was just showing that, damn, can this shit work in our favor? Yeah. You know, shit, it never works in our favor. So that's what the whole uproar was. It's, it, I, we all felt OJ was guilty, but the fact that he we, got we, got we off knew, on it, yeah. OJ. <laughs> the fact that he got off on it wasn't that we happy that this man got away with killing somebody. We like white people get away with this shit all the yeah. time. That's we, what the whole finally, thing is. We finally got some get back. That's what. That's the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And even with you know, Arn Kelly ain't gonna get off this shit. But, but the people who stand behind R. R. Kelly, I just want y'all to understand, it's not so much that they're, they're standing behind him as a pedophile. That's not, that's not what it is. What it is is these white people do this shit all day, every day, in, in, the, same, in the same position he is and higher, and nothing ever happens. You, nothing you ever happens. You got to tiptoe with that shit. Exactly. I'm going to tiptoe it because people are going to take it the wrong way. Yeah, They're going to think, oh, you're supporting. Fe- especially female. They, they, yeah, they <laughs> think you're supporting. No, 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 no. The no, phone no, might no, be no. ringing because <laughs> of this shit. You just said. Yeah, but, it's, but that's why I'm trying to make it understood. It's not that we're supporting R. And Kelly and what he's doing. Just like I'm saying with OJ. It's not that we support OJ in killing people. That's yeah. not, it's, it's not that. It's that our people are targeted to the and held to the highest degree of the law. When some, when we do something, there is no slack. There is no remorse. There is no I forgive you. There is no hug from the judge. There is no hug from the from the um from the defendant. None of that shit takes place. You know what I'm saying? So obviously we feel like whatever happens on our side need to happen on your side and whatever happens on your side need to happen on our side it needs to be an equal the blame should be justice should be given equally yeah the playing field ain't the same yeah the playing field is not the same 
So that's that's what I'm trying to get people to understand when they get upset with black people supporting black people who they feel like, oh, you know, this man did this. You know, this man did that. Yeah, I know he did this and did that. But so did that dude right there. Why he ain't getting prosecuted? Why he ain't getting charged? Why he ain't being held in steep? Uh, uh, oh, Weinstein, he out of jail. He still get. He ain't even went to trial yet. You know what I'm saying? R. Kelly just got denied denied bond. They they steady picking up uh, cases everywhere. Weinstein ain't even been to trial yet. This whole thing started with Weinstein. Mm -hmm. You know, not to get off subject, but it's 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 to get people who. Who don't understand the mentality and why we think the way we think when it comes to these issues. It's all about the injustice. It's all about it needs to be fair blame across the board. No favors, no picking and choosing who gets remorse and who doesn't. A black dude just got sentenced to 45 years for killing a police dog. 45 fucking years. For killing a police dog. This is the bullshit that I be talking about. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the bullshit, bro. I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's like what? It's like it's so it's so prevalent and in your face. It's almost and, like we in the twilight and they zone. Hold, they 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 hold him accountable as if he was a a, a, a actual officer. police officer. That's what they uh, yeah. That's what they do. We, yeah. They that's how this is what I'm saying with white people. Not not all white. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> The white people who control this shit. This is how they kick it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This this dog is a zillion times more valuable than your life as a human being. Yeah. That's the that's the fucking shit that they telling you. I was gonna try my best not to curse this uh this episode. I slipped up just then, but I'm gonna work on it. You know what I'm saying? What, what brought that on? I, you know what? I just was gonna change it up, bro. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've I've heard, I've had a couple people in my ear about my language, yeah. as if I couldn't talk, you know, about you know, and, and express myself without you without know using cursing. foul language, and I can. Yeah. I I just do it because it in it, it, it what, what <laughs> Malcolm X say, a man curse because he can't find words. That's that's what they say, but that's not necessarily true. You know, what I'm saying? I can find a, a word to say. It's just easier to say it like this. <laughs> But at the same time, though, oh, the Amber the Amber Geiger case is like it's just one of many a slaps in the face of the black community, and even though you know the victims themselves forgave her, the people don't forgive her. Did you see the you see the protesting and the riots behind the, behind the? Uh, uh, no, I ain't hear nothing about no protests and no riot. Oh yeah, they riot and they taking niggas to jail. Riot and well in Dallas. Yeah. For her, uh, for them ten years they gave. Her. Are you serious? Yeah. Them Dallas niggas keep it one thousand. Hey. Yeah. Shout out to Dallas for real. If y'all out there protesting like that, you know what I'm saying. Based upon that sentencing, I wish I was there with y'all for real, real talk. Oh, um, if y'all out there listening, man, again, call in 407-906-4440. Uh, we can always come back to that subject. There's other things going on. As well out here. That wasn't the only hot topic. That was just, you know, one of the biggest hot topics. And uh, if y'all want to call in and talk about it some more, definitely do so. Uh, did you hear about Uncle Luke and Jay-Z? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I think it's about time somebody step up and, 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 and speak out against Jay-Z and what he's doing. I mean... When Jay Z first got the position with the NFL, everybody was saying, "Give him a chance, give him a chance." I said, that. "What's the plan? What's the plan? Mm -hmm. Get let him make it. Put it well. Okay, mm -hmm. this is his opportunity that's, to show us world, yeah. what the plan was." And I think he more or less fumbled. He fumbled the ball. I, I, I okay. So for those who may may know and may not know, okay, um, Uncle Luke from Miami, you know, Two Live Crew made a post. Um, Chastising Jay Z for the halftime show, um, he signed up J Lo and Shakira, Shakira, and he did not ask not one Miami artist as of date. You know what I'm saying to do the the halftime show. Now he, he didn't he didn't just chastise him. He told him you got to fix this shit, and if you know who Luke is in Miami. You got to understand. The mayor. He the mayor he, of Miami. Yeah, he's more or less the mayor in Miami. And to do something in Miami, 
you got to check in to loop. Yeah. You got to check in. It's Not- like going to Cali. You can't just be no 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 blood and just walk out there and do what you you got to check now, in. Now you're absolutely right. You got to check in the loop and, and and tell me what your agenda is, and I'll let you know what you got to put money towards because it's a fee coming in here, fucking with me. That's all true, except for he 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 don't he, his power stops. <laughs> well, his Miami? his reign of power no stops when it comes to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it like does. like he can't call no shots. I'm a, his biggest issue. I think was not not so much about checking in as far as the disrespect of how how you gonna come to Miami after you done had this controversial deal with the NFL. Saying that you're gonna you, you signed up to show more sh- uh, social justice and try to help the NFL with with that, but you don't come to the people from Miami and put them on for the halftime show. I mean, the halftime show that just took place that he was actually boycotting him and Beyonce. That was in Atlanta. Big Boy performed. Oh. Um, I, I, that might have been the only Atlanta artist, but at least it was in Atlanta artists that performed. But let me let me let me let me uh, touch up on some shit that you were saying. No, as far as Luke, that's what it was about. He 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 see it as a disrespect, bro. You got you you got to check in. That's he adamant about that shit. You got to check in. It was a disrespect that you didn't come and speak to none of you didn't you did not sign any of the Miami artists. That's what the disrespect was. Yeah. It but, wasn't so much of you checking in, it was the fact of how you gonna come to Miami with all, Miami you Rick Ross. I mean, you got so many Miami entertainers that you could have approached to do the halftime show. See with Jay, and you didn't approach not see with one. Jay, it's a marketing scheme. It's a and, and guess what? But that's and that's why Luke was pissed off because, yeah, bruh, you didn't sign. Look, if you signed up to put the people on the back burner, then you then then we don't we don't respect what you're doing. And that's why the people like me was like, give Jay Z a chance. Let's see what he's gonna do. Let's not be so quick to judge. But Shakira, what do you mean Shakira? That's those are commercial acts. He did it. He did it for commercial sake. I get it. I'm not saying the business move was was wrong. So I'm not okay. saying the business move was wrong. You got Shakira, J Lo. You can't tell me as far as marketing. Yeah, let, let, you're gonna let, get people in Brazil. You gonna get everybody watching it for them for them fans. Okay, but listen, I don't think you would have you would have got the same turnout with a, with a Rick Ross or, or whatever. But you can't tell me Flo Rida and Pitbull. When they bought that same revenue, Pitbull would. They would have bought you know that what? same revenue, and, you know and they what? Miami. And you know what? First of all, Pitbull would. I can honestly say that that's one of the rappers who don't get no, you know, recognition from the black community. Who that man is international. Pitbull is the man. You know what I'm saying? He definitely could have had Pitbull. Flo Rida too. I and Flo Rida is another individual who. Has international success. His music is played in 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 different countries outside the U.S. Same with Pitbull. They definitely would have been a good commercial choice. The whole thing is that people was already waiting for the first move Jay Z was gonna make, and yeah. the first move that you made was not coming to the people. You didn't have to come high, trick daddy. Come high, you know. You didn't have to go all the way hood with the shit. Well, I, we understand is. Um, the money aspect of it. It but, was a business, but, but I get what but, I get why he did it. But the average Joe Blow don't ain't trying to take in consideration the, the money uh perspective of it. Now what it seemed like to me, not to cut you off, what it seemed like to me was Jay Z trying to prove his self worth to the NFL, like, look, I, I can make these numbers go up. I can make this happen. I can he was he sometimes I think But he, what the fuck did that do for the, the people, the, the social injustice that's, I get, that, that you said that you was targeting. You're right, and that's and that's Luke's point. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm, I, I agree with what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point Luke was making. Jay Z had an opportunity to make sure that the people would suffice. Why he continued to do his business, mm-hmm. and he fumbled the ball, and that's why Luke jumped on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Because you fumbled the ball, bro. You know. So hey, for anybody who just ca- caught on to us. And you're listening, you want to join in on the conversation. We definitely want to hear your opinion on some of this stuff. Um, again, the call in line 407 
906-4440. Um, then you got a lot of people who 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 question who is Luke and and and, and who is he to call out Jay Z. A lot of people, I mean, especially the millennials. White people. Yeah, okay. Especially well, the, the new mil- people don't know the millennials who he is. Right. The and white people. Yeah, the millennials don't, don't know, know who, he is. who Jay. I mean, uh, who Luke is. Who Luke is. And how he went up against, you know what I'm saying, Supreme Court. He the reason you can cuss in your music. Just, in your for, music. just for y'all young people who don't know who Uncle Luke is, Uncle Luke is the reason you're able to curse in your music. Do your history. You know what I'm saying? Nasty as you as you want to be. <laughs> as na- yeah, Nasty as You Want to Be was the first record, rap record that was banned in the United States of America. They made them stop selling that rap. That was the first album that... Rap album, at least, that I know of that was ever yeah. banned. I don't think any album was ever banned. Was Their it, album was the any, first album ever banned in the NWA United band? States. N.W.A. wasn't even banned. Yeah. But 2 Live Crew was banned. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and he went to he went all the way to the very top of the Supreme Court. He won. And that's the reason why you have parental advisory on... Well, they don't even, I don't even, do they still sell CDs anymore? Well, when they used to sell CDs... And, it tapes and everything. You used to have the parental advisory on them. Two Live Crew, Uncle Luke, he the reason that was placed on them. You know what I'm saying? And you can cuss in your music. So Luke is a, is a very, you know what I'm saying, relevant I, I, figure I, I, to this day. Figure. Yeah, he's an iconic figure. He's a legend. Yeah, he, he, and, he's a we legend. can say that. He's definitely a legend. Yeah, he, he's, been in, he's been in movies. He's, uh, he's done, and, and he made it perfectly clear. I'm not trying to be a, a a a Super Bowl act or anything. Yeah, it's not it's for not, him. It's not it's about not for me. Him. No, it's not for him. It's about my city, and 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 I take I think he take a lot of pride in, um, as Jesus would say, putting on for his city. You know, he put on for his city. He makes sure, uh, like I said, for lack of better words, certain individuals check in, and and okay, when you here, what are you gonna do? For my communities, for the people, for and, and for the people, and he makes sure money his revenue coming in. Yeah, he makes sure money is allocated to this, this, and this, and this, so that it's circulated throughout my city. Yeah, and the only way that that would work is by him bringing up, bringing in local artists. Mm-hmm. You know, so that was so. So yeah, you're right in what you're saying. And what he and when he did, man, he was like, "We don't need you to book no, um, the 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 pack no hotel. We already packed. That's Miami." We already packed, so we don't need you to, put, to pack no hotels and do this and do this. Miami we, got multiple platinum. Yeah, artists. we already circulate. Yeah, so it, it it's not like you know what I'm saying you doing this great just for us, but we do need you to pay homage. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Um, I agree. Jay Z had an opportunity because even though he's a he's a he's a shrewd businessman, I think sometimes when you get so so on a business mentality that there comes a line that you cross over where you start to negate the people. You start to you you start to desensitize yourself from the people's struggle. You I know what that. I'm saying? I heard that too, and I heard. And that. I think that's what that's what is happening with Jay Z. Like I don't think Jay Z is against the people. Still, right now, I don't feel that way. But I, but I feel like because he's on such a business mentality and a business level. That he's crossed that that threshold where you you start to negate the people's struggle because you no longer are part of that struggle on that level. Um, I heard someone say to to address what you're saying in so many words. He has already sold his soul, so he don't care how people take him or or or, or, or what's at stake. All he got, all he got, is an opportunity to gain. I hate to say that. I, look, I still hate to say that the man sold his soul. I ain't saying he did or didn't, but you know, actions speak louder than words. He he said that he was in, he was doing what he was doing with the NFL for all the right reasons, but your actions have to match up to that. And 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 this and this was the first opportunity to at least give the people something they can say. Okay, let's give him some more time. He could have bought some more time. Both By him time. not doing it like that, now we already was not people already wasn't giving yeah, you the we, benefit of the doubt. We was already jumping rope. Yeah, like, <laughs> should I? Should I not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But so, w- 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 this here is like 
see, I told you what this nigga was gonna do. Yeah. You know, and yeah. a lot of people might fall off the team when this could have been that. Uh, that just one simple move could have had everybody on board. Look for just one little. Look, one little I'm gonna tell thing. you if he if he was playing it super smart, he would. Pit Bull is a no brainer. Yeah. If you want, first of all, you got somebody from Miami. Mm-hmm. You got somebody who part of the people, and he international. And, and you appeasing everybody. With you would appe- if you would have just had Pit Bull. And I'm not I'm not taking anything away from any other the artists who are from Miami. I'm just saying, as far as the way Jigamine thinks and how he was trying to make this move by picking J Lo and Shakira, Wait, Shakira? on some in, on, on an international level, bro. He see, this is what I mean by being so such a shrewd businessman. You start to disconnect from the struggle. I don't know if I can. You just that. said it yourself. It's a like, marketing J-Lo, scheme. J Lo, but it's yeah. a, dog, but Shakira, Shakira got. Dog, Shakira got millions of fans. What's this? Name, give me one Shakira song. I'm not a Shakira fan. I, but. They don't look. <laughs> this is and see, this is how that. I'm gonna tell you exactly why Jay, how Jay Z fucked up with what you just did just now. Look, Jay Z knows that the dollar is bigger than just the black community, and if you're dealing with the NFL, you got to understand that the dollar is bigger than just the black community. I, I understand that too. So the that's fact that like, me and you don't know because I don't know one song from Shakira. That's just like Gucci. I mean, not Gucci. Uh, uh, yeah, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It holds its little its little value in the black community, but the but the money is so so great in in, in over the across, world I over the that. world. But she ain't no Gucci, bro. Shakira is a multi platinum selling. I don't know her songs because I don't listen to her music, but I know who she is as an artist. The, I can't, I can't the fact that hold on, the no. fact that you don't you've never heard her music and you know who she is speaks volumes. I, I heard of her name. I can't tell you. Thank you. Not That's one, what I'm saying, though. Not one fucking song. And you still heard her name. Okay. I'm saying, though, you still heard her name before. You okay. know who she is. But okay, let's take let's take a let's take a, a pit bull. You can give me several pit bull songs. You can give me several uh, Florida songs. We we all know what Apple Bottom Jeans. That's that's because you're thinking of one particular genre. But I'm not. I can't one, get you. I, I can't give you no fucking. Uh, I'm not arguing with you. What I'm trying to tell you is how Jay Z was thinking. Jay Z was thinking, dog, just because you don't know her, don't mean that the other five million people don't know. Like, dog, she has a following, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, my I, gotta, whole, I gotta go do my secure homework. Yeah, my whole point, yeah, like she's like, no, she ain't no Rudy Poop. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he grabbed her. But my whole point is, you, you had an opportunity to show the people that you you still down with the people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He, he fumbled inter- the ball. You got this international, you know, uh, uh, region that you're trying to reach, yeah. right? But what about all the people in the states that you lose with this decision? When you're a that, don't account, that don't account for nothing? Not when you're a shrewd businessman. That's the problem. And that's the issue. I'm not saying I'm not saying that's right. What I'm saying is that when you're a sh- a, such a shrewd businessman, no, you don't. It doesn't account. Because you've disconnected yourself from the people. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying about when you get to a certain level, you no, you you no longer can relate, even though you went through it, even though you've been there. Jay Z's been on such a high roller coaster ride. His dip, I don't think he's he dipped in some years. Bridges too, now. He done burned some bridges too. But all that that he did, he's the first rap billionaire. Yeah. All that dog, look, there's look, you gonna if you want to be a billionaire, you gonna burn some bridges. You gonna piss some people off. People ain't gonna like you. you. There's no way you're gonna suffice everybody, bro. You can't suffice everybody. It's impossible. There's not too many things that's impossible. That is, you can't suffice everybody. That, that, but it all brings me back to a a, a short story I, I read in school, which was all the land you can walk in a day. And basically, the concept of the, of, of the story was that a man he wanted. Enough land to uh, the farm, put a house on. Okay. So he had three wishes, and basically, the, one of the wishes was granted that he can have all the land that he can walk in a day. Right. This man walked so once he got the 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 the, the idea of land that he wanted. 
right? Mm-hmm. He decided to go outside that mm-hmm. and continue walking. It became greed. So much greed that as he kept walking, he grew tired. He grew sick and died trying to uh, to get more more than, more than he, what, he, what needed. he needed. And look, just just for the record, I'm I'm agreeing with everything you say. <laughs> I'm not like I'm not defending Jay Z. I'm just just trying to give a little insight on. I know this is how Jay Z somewhat looked at things. I, I obviously don't know a hundred percent, but I'm with you. I'm for the people, bro. All you had to do was just show show us you still was down for us. Yeah, you had one. That's what Luke one was e- saying. One easy task. And, and, and Pitbull would have Pitbull dog. I hate to say it, Pitbull would have killed all. He would have accomplished both things. Pit bull would have killed all of that. You but know let me what I'm ask saying? you this too. Now if he if he if he if he backtrack and try to grab a pit bull, he's now, gonna do it. But I see it coming. Mark my word. I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But mark my word. If he back, I see it coming, if he, bro. If he backtrack and try coming. to grab a pit bull, it's now, coming. He's gonna grab would that help him or hurt him? It's gonna hurt him. You know why? Because he grabbed J Lo and Shakira first. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So hey, we're gonna leave it at that note. We're gonna um. Take a little small uh, break. We're going to take a real nigga rap break. Um, if you guys are tuning in, that, make sure you download Anchor so you guys can catch the mix. I don't think y'all know. We got a rap mix on the on the show. Y'all just got to go and download Anchor and listen to it. It's a hell of a playlist. Real talk. And uh, we're going to be right back at you. Controversy Talk Radio.